Let me tell you what I've, what I've decided to do to make brackets that will uh, hold the... They're going to run up from the frame and then over. And so what I've done is I've used the uh, chop saw, cut some 45s, started welding them up. This is just a rough picture of what these welds look like right now. And then we're going to smooth them up. I learned from a friend using a 3-inch disc sander versus a grinder. It'll take off less of the metal. It'll take really it's going to smooth those up. They're going to be beautiful when you look at them. You'll be quite amazed. I was always I was pretty shocked the first time I saw them. I was like, wow. So that's how the guys do it. Anyway, I was going to go ahead and show you a good Clark welder. This is a 1300 or a 130 MIG. It's got flux core. Pretty simple to use. And uh, like the video always says, number one, just start getting some metal and start welding. You learn by experience. There's, you can watch videos all you want, but you really just got to get out there and do it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish welding this up. Give you an idea. I'll see if I got it zoomed in. Have no idea how that'll do. You know, video on a weld, but we'll find out. Hear how that sounded like uh, crackling bacon? That's what you want it to sound like. And that way you know you have the uh, you got the speed of the wire feed set correctly. Bottom line is, you know, some of your welds are going to turn out looking nice, and some are going to look junky. But don't worry about it. Just remember, everything's hot. <laughs> you'll you'll forget momentarily, but you'll be reminded quickly. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to sand these up, but I thought I'd let you see what they look like now. Pretty nasty, you know, in the sense that, eh, they'll clean up. <laughs>